Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Bootlicker shields, display search, peasants, vassals, minions, meat sacks, media scum. I'm useful idiot. Welcome. And uh, I just read a really great uh, uh, article by Sasha Stone. And uh, any, any of you out there who haven't read Sasha Stone, uh, one of the best journalists out there, really, uh, right up there with Matt Tybee and the like. And uh, she's got a great Substack uh, page. Highly recommend. Uh, uh, that you subscribe to her, uh, just really well-written stuff and very well-researched and um, just really one of the best out there. But she's really after my heart now because she wrote a, a big piece that I'm going to quote from today about media. And uh, I did a big video uh, several months back about media being one of the dangerous elements in the world today. Just the way they manipulate uh, public opinion uh, the fact that they are in collusion with the government now for censorship, the fact that they spread so much propaganda and misinformation, and uh, the, the, some of the biggest stars in media are the most ridiculous uh, on both sides. But people like Rachel Maddow and um, Keith Overman and uh, The View, they, they shouldn't even have a vehicle to spew the kind of nonsense they do. And it's only harming the country. So I did that big video. I'll, I'll attach it as a link below if you want to check it out. Uh, it's a little longish, but it goes into pretty good detail about all the, the problems that we have, uh, the media that we have today. But let's get into, get into the heart of this because uh, just really wonderful how I feel the media is really a, a, a cancer on the society. And I, I can't put in any stronger terms than that. And I'll, I'll get right to it. And in, in her context in the Sasha Stone article is thanking the media for all this shitty stuff that they've done. And she says, thank you for not telling the truth out of fear of reprisals and backlash from your staff, your readers, and social media mobs. Thank you for all your clickbait headlines. Thank you for your cowardice. Thank you for adopting the language of cults to get your message across. Thank you for uh, convicting people of simple comments taken out of context, including jokes, in the court of public opinion. Thank you for bullying and intimidating real journalists. Thank you for helping fanatics demonize and target anyone that disagrees with them. Thank you for not taking the side of the American people. Thank you for turning people against each other. Thank you for being out of touch with what people in America really want. Thank you for participating in government censorship. Thank you for destroying all the real journalists out there. Thank you for pushing the idea that racism is everywhere and everyone out there is inherently a racist. Thank you for your bland, unbearable content. Thank you for lying about Trump for eight years. Thank you for lying about COVID. Thank you for lying about the 2020 protocols. Thank you for lying about the masks. Thank you for lying about the vaccines. Thank you for lying about the reality of gender identities. Thank you for lying about January 6th. Thank you for lying about the Hunter laptop. Thank you for the daily Trump said this, Trump said that. And not only that, taking what Trump said, chopping it up, stripping it of context, and repackaging, repackaging it and marketing it as something that Hitler would have said. Thank you for dividing families, betraying marriages, breaking, destroying marriages, turning kids against their parents, and blaming Trump for it all. Thank you for selling fear, more fear, and nothing but fear every second of every day for eight years. Thank you for lying about the border. Thank you for lying about the uh, spiking crime. Thank you for lying about Biden's mental decline. Thank you for telling people that they're way better off than they think they are and thank you for destroying all media credibility as far as the eye can see and I really couldn't put it any better than uh, Sasha Stone put it uh, media is a cancer media is, is causing the destruction of this country in, in, in order to get ratings and uh, it's just one of the most disgusting elements in our world today and it's sad that it's come down to this and, and part of this was unleashed in, during the 90s. There used to be a law that any media outlet had to represent both sides of any issue. And then that law was uh, 
abolished. And that unleashed uh, all these news outlets like Fox and CNN. And that's why we have the kind of media today. They don't have to do both sides. They just take one partisan side and they use whatever kind of inflammatory, uh, repugnant language and ideas and misinformation and lies and propaganda they want in order to get ratings. And unfortunately, it's not working. As we know, most of the mainstream media outlets are dying, and well, they should. And when you look at the numbers, it's, it's pretty interesting. The, the median age for people who watch MSNBC is 70 years old. The median age for people who watch Fox is 69. The media, median age for people who watch CNN is 68. The median age for people who watch HDTV is 66. The median age for people who watch TBS is 58. And the median age that even watches MTV is 51. We also know that Facebook was, is falling out of favor with young people. So that's good news. All these dinosaur uh, media that are doing so much destruction um, are dying themselves and are becoming irrelevant. And so it, it's going to be game over pretty soon. It's going to be alternative media and podcasts. So anyway, legacy media, the sooner you die, the better. Go fuck yourselves. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too.